I'm gonna tell you 10 different ways to come up with ideas for videos, regardless of the type of content that you're making, so that you have an endless supply of ideas forever. And we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. All right, I've been on YouTube for quite some time and there's been a lot of videos made during that time and I understand the struggle when it comes to coming up with video ideas. So I put together this list of different ways that you can come up with video ideas so that you never run out. Number one is YouTube and Google search search autocomplete. And what that means is when you go to the search bar on YouTube and you start typing something in, all of the different suggestions that come down, that's YouTube trying to autocomplete based on the things that people are looking for. It's important for you to know that those are not in order of search volume. However, those are things that people are looking for. So you start typing stuff into YouTube search or you start typing stuff into Google search. And what's going to happen is you're going to start coming up with different lists of things that people are actually looking for, content that they want to see. And then you can say to yourself, hey, this is something that I can make a video about. So I'm going to write this on my list of video ideas. The second thing that you can do to come up with video ideas is you can use TubeBuddy. Inside of TubeBuddy, I've got a link to them down in the description below, but inside of TubeBuddy, they have something called a keyword planner. Inside of said keyword planner, you can put a word or a phrase that has something to do with the type of content that you make. And then TubeBuddy is going to spit out different ideas based on things that people are searching for as well. And as a bonus, if you're using TubeBuddy, they're going to show you your chances of ranking for that particular thing that you happen to be making a video about based on your channel. I personally use this for every single video that I put out with the exception of videos that I make just because it's stuff that I think people need to know about. The third thing that can help you come up with video ideas is to ask the people that are watching your videos. Now, hold on. What you do not want to do is you do not want to make a video and say, hey, in this video, I just want to, you know, reach out and see if you can help me come up with video ideas. You don't want to do that because you're just wasting people's time and nobody likes to have their time wasted. So when you're putting up content, you want it to be actual content. But how you can do it is when you are publishing videos to your channel, you can add a pinned comment. And in that pinned comment, you can ask, hey, what type of videos would you like me to make? Or is there any specific video that you would like to see on my channel? And you'd be surprised at the feedback that people will give you for the stuff that they want to see. And this is coming directly from your audience, which makes that a fantastic way to come up with the video ideas. Next up is to look in your comment section for things that people already wanna know about, questions that your viewers are already asking you, and any recommendations that they might have already made. So here's a pro tip for you. Inside of your YouTube admin, you can actually search your comments for specific words or phrases. So what you can do is you can put in how to, or how does, or how do, or why are. The idea is to simply put in question words with you know little additions added to them to help you track down questions that your audience has for you. Another really great way to come up with a lot of video ideas is all of the people that are making content like yours, go and watch their content and then go down into the comment section and look for questions that their audience might be asking them. This can be very effective, especially if you have channels that are really big in the type of content that you make, because in reality, you know, they're getting so many comments that a lot of the ideas or questions that people are asking in their comments, they might go overlooked. Next up is to look at websites around the type of content that you make. So for example, if you have a specific industry that you are serving, you can go and you can look at the websites for that industry. If you're a gamer, go and look at all of the websites that are around the game or talking about the game that you make. If you cook cakes, then you can go and look at all the industry websites around cooking, for example. And what you can do is you can look at the titles of the stuff that they are doing and you can say, okay, well, they're making this, so people probably want to know about that type of thing, so I'm going to make something similar. But of course, you don't take their content and make a video out of it. What you do is you just look at the concept of what it is that they're talking about and you make a video about that. You do not want to take what it is that they are putting out. You want to come up with something original that you are doing. Most of you already know that, but you know, I just got to make this stuff clear for those of you that may not. Google Trends is also a fantastic place to come up with video ideas, especially if you're making any type of entertainment content. Or this is another one where if you're serving a specific industry, this is a great place to where you can see what people are actually hunting for right now. 
And the really cool thing about Google Trends as well is if you happen to hit one of those trends, then it can really make a video take off big time, which can also be a big advantage. So not only are you trying to come up with an idea from there, but you also might be able to make content that is also going to take off because it's trending. Another way to come up with video ideas is by looking at magazines. Go to your local grocery store or bookstore or wherever it is that magazines happen to be where you live. Just look at all the different magazines and look at all the headlines, open them up, dig through them and see what it is that they're talking about. If it's a magazine that is similar to the type of content that you make in terms of the industry or the niche, definitely use those for video ideas as well. I know it's not everybody's thing and I know that some people are on there, some people are not on there, but Reddit is another place that can be a gold mine for video ideas. In case you don't know, Reddit is a website that is basically user-generated content and it's people looking for solutions to problems, it's fans of things looking to talk about things that they're into, and a whole bunch of other stuff that can also lead you down a pretty deep rabbit hole, so be careful, but Reddit is also a fantastic place where you can come up with video ideas. Next up on the list is list videos about video ideas. So basically, I've made a handful of videos, I'll put a link to them right up here, but a list of videos where I just said, hey, video about this, video about this, here's 30 video ideas, here's 28 video ideas, and I just broke down a bunch of different video ideas. You can go into that playlist right up here. And if you wanna learn more about growing your channel, making videos, and all types of other YouTube-related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.